All right, so in the last video, we created the slope mask that allow us to have this automatic material in our landscape. So now that we want to do, what we want to do now is basically create a blending between these two to make it more real. And it will be very easy. The first thing we're gonna do is to go to our slope mask and there are some inputs that we wanna put here. So the first one is the tangent normal and we can apply this normal or any normal you want and just by doing that you can see how I have a different input. Now if I click apply, let's wait for our shaders to compile, you will see that now I have a different blending. Let's just try to look for other areas, something like that. Okay, so there are other things that I want to do to have like a very clear transition. First is my follow-up power and then is my cheap, cheap contrast. So let's take a look at those. So I'm going to hold one and by holding one I get a constant. Right click and then convert to parameter and I will call this sl slope fall off and I will just put it to zero here and nothing has changed so let's go to our material instance to check what kind of effect this fall off can have in our mask so let's go here go to our material instance and here what we're gonna do is to change this fall off okay so let's see what happens you can see as I increase or decrease the values I can see more or less my my landscape however I think this is like this is blending too much so we need to add some contrast and the way we're gonna do that is very simple we're just gonna add the cheap contrast here so let's duplicate this one Control C Control V another way to duplicate these things is like Control W and it will create another one so let's call this slope contrast and then we're gonna go here and nothing has changed so let's click apply and if I go to my material instance you will see nothing has changed but as I increase this let's increase the contrast can see my contrast is one but then let me open this one bigger you can see how I as I change the contrast here you can see how I have a different kind of result here more sharp sharper so if I increase the fall off or decrease the fall off I can have something like this or I can increase the contrast and I can really tighten this this blending so I have something like this then go for maybe something like this okay so this one looks like a good value so you can see how I have all this detail here that I get from my automatic landscape material and if I want to test this out I just need to go to my landscape mode and I will go to sculpt and then it will compile the shaders, shaders again let's wait some minutes until we get it I can see I just sculpt this part wait for the shaders to compile and you can see how this one it's automatically like automatically you can just generate this kind of detail just if if you get a certain amount of angle then you can just have your automatic material just like this very very easy very cool so with this one we already have our automatic material we have controls to change it 
we can change the tiling, we can change the blending. In the next video we will go into cooler stuff such as world masking and different types of blending that we can use in our landscape. So if you like this video give us a like, subscribe and let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch and we make, make a video out of it. And if you need some help just check the links in the description to get some free resources for your game development journey and I'll see you in the next one.